Kelly Taylor and Trace. Hey guys. All right. Hi Frank. Uh, good morning. Good Friday morning to you. What is trending on this Friday morning? Digital content producer Kelly Taylor joining us. Good Just one like. Just That's all I one want. like. Okay. This is a story Too about cute. how Reddit can just make someone's day. Um, mm -hmm. There's a YouTube user, a young kid named Surfadora. He posts a video on YouTube and all he wants is one like. One little like. A couple days go by, nothing happens. Finally, he gets the one like. <laughs> and, um, he, and he posts a couple of videos, so let's take a look. Well, I just would like to say that please stay tuned. Um, if we could get a like on this video, it'll know that people are watching me, even a subscriber would make me feel so happy. It was Jackson here, and today I'd like to tell you we did it. We hit the one like. <laughs> and I know that you guys are going to be like, dude, this is a fun like, but it's still awesome. That is so cute. Exactly. So someone notices the pure joy that he gets one like, and they post it on Reddit and say, hey, let's make this kid's week. Let's get him some likes, get some people to subscribe to his YouTube account. He gets on, and... Now where is Within, he? Within, so on Wednesday, they posted it on Reddit. Already on that video, you just saw the second one, 106,000 likes, 68,000 people are subscribing to his YouTube channel. Um, and too cute. Too easy, so awesome. right, to check make his day. Check out his reaction really quick, too. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's fine. Too cute. Exactly. All right, switching gears just a little bit. Who knew we could do all of what we do just a little pin. Exactly. So Mars um, has a rover right now, Curiosity. Mm -hmm. And yesterday they tweeted on their Twitter account a picture. And let me zoom in here. It's basically Curiosity the rover is on Mars. And you can see the horizon. And there's a little speck. And that little speck is Earth. It just really puts things into perspective. When I saw that, I'm like, huh. When we live in our little five mile radius, right? And we think of all what goes on just within our little world and then to see that little speck and to think that's all of us together. I know it does. Exactly, it's amazing. It's just, um, it's, that picture was taken from 99 million miles away. Wow. And <laughs> to Curiosity the Rover, it's just a evening star, just our whole world. There you go. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the Olympics. Right, uh, so Sochi. yesterday mm -hmm. we mentioned how the journalists were live tweeting some bad conditions, checking in their hotels to cover the Winter Olympics. Well, a lot of them showing up and not having a hotel room, but the ones that did, not so nice. Right, exactly. So Russian officials finally addressed this issue, which has clearly gained some momentum online. Mm -hmm. And in so many words, um, it's the prime minister that's responsible for the Olympic operations, um, Dmitry Kozak. He basically said um, some reporters were deliberately trying to sabotage Sochi's big debut and bias of Russia, and Russian officials know this because we have surveillance cameras in hotel rooms. Whoops. Yeah, he said the surveillance video from the hotels shows people turn to the shower, direct the nozzle at the wall, and then leave the room. So an aide quickly ushered him away, and then they later said... Don't no. you think he probably didn't realize what he said in the moment? Obviously, others picked up with it, you know, so that the reporters couldn't go any further asking him questions. But, oh, my goodness, it's just one catastrophe after another, the stories no. there. You know what I feel bad for is the Olympians, those that have worked so hard to get to that point and then, you know, kind exactly. of going unnoticed. And, you know, and then with Sean White pulling out of one of the events exactly. because he, you know, feared for his safety. So it's just really sad. Okay, just in time for Valentine's Day. I love this app. Exactly. <laughs> Very okay. innocent, I think, you know? A guy, he's been married to his wife for 18 years, and he says, you know what, sometimes I forget to tell my wife I love her, even though I do. Um, I, I sometimes forget. So he did an interview with Mashable, and he created an app called Romantomatic. <laughs> and in so many words, um, you can sign up, and put in your sweetheart's number and set the time and, and how often you want to be reminded. And you can get a push alert to your phone to say, hey, text your wife, tell her you love her. Or, and there's even some programmed words that you can send. Sure. Um, it's $1.99 <laughs> in the App Store. Um, it's kind of funny because he, he just thought of it as like a simple way to keep up the romantic gestures. You know what? Life gets so busy. Who doesn't need to be reminded? I think it's a great idea, but you know, some people. Yeah, some people on Twitter are so kind of nice, like, right? oh, really? You need, a, you need an app to remind you, but at least he's trying. Hey, you know? at least he is telling his wife or his significant other, I love you. I yeah. think it's great. Yeah. We all need reminders, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's I cute. Agree. Thanks, Kelly. Frank. Kelly's shirt's very sparkly.
sparkly yes. shirt. Yes, uh-huh. You're very sparkly. I mean, look at that. That's sparkly. <laughs> look at that. Okay.